Shalini and I'm a consultant head neck surgeon here at HCG Bangalore. That is right, India has become a hotspot for head neck cancers, especially oral cavity cancers. And this is mainly due to the use of tobacco in its various forms. In the rest of the world, smoking is very common, but when it comes to India, the use of smokeless forms of tobacco like Kenny, Gutka and Snuff is very common. And because of this, we see a large number of uh, people in the rural population who use this more commonly present to us with oral cancers. The other causes of cancer can include sharp teeth, poor oral or dental hygiene and poor nutritional status. Also, a sedentary lifestyle, obesity can all be contributory factors. Of course, the use of alcohol along with tobacco also increases the risk of developing head and neck cancers. So about 90% of the patients who present to our clinic use tobacco in one way or another. Now when you smoke tobacco, the smoke that is generated contains not only nicotine which is the addictive substance but it also has more than 70 carcinogenic agents. And uh, the, smoke, uh, the smokeless form of tobacco like Kenny or Gutka contains about 28 to 30 carcinogenic agents. So and also tobacco is uh, also the causative agent for more than 15 types of cancer. Now if you look at the risk of developing cancer, when you look at a non-smoker and when you look at a smoker, the smoker has a more than 10 times the risk of a non-smoker to develop cancer. Studies have shown that a smoker is at a 10 times higher risk of developing cancer compared, when compared to a non-smoker. change in voice, loosening of teeth, difficulty in mouth opening, burning sensation in the mouth can all be symptoms of head and neck cancers. The best way to uh, identify this is to do a self-examination every six months and also visit with uh, the dentist or with an ENT surgeon or with your physician every six months. Cancer can be prevented by adopting a healthy lifestyle, which means that if you have a balanced meal, have moderate amount of exercises about two to three times a week, and stay away from noxious substances like tobacco and alcohol, you have already begun re reducing your risk of developing head and neck cancer. Along with this, if you visit your doctors at a regular interval of about six months to get a ex thorough examination of the head and neck area. And if you see any persistent problems, you report that to your doctor. If you have any sharp teeth uh, or anything uh, that irritates you for a long duration, report that to your doctor. These are the steps that you can take to reduce the risk of head and neck cancers.